Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to some more Generals Evolution. Today's pretty exciting because it's the first time ever I am seeing the map Hostile Dawn. You can see the crates there in the middle, remade from Generals Zero Hour. We've got a 3v3 on our hands. You know, it's a 3v3 map. Used to be very popular on Zero Hour way back in the day. One of the most popular played maps. Um, not that much played anymore, but sometimes it is. Down in the bottom left, we have a green Tox. We'll introduce the player names in a second. But basically, there they are. The way to only way to see it really is to press escape like that to see them all properly, unless you flick through them all. So bottom left, we've got a GLA Tox with a green. Then we've got him alongside a uh, kind of brownish uh, GLA Demolition. And then we've got an Air Force in the blue. And then we've got a laser with the cyan. And we've got a nuke with the purple. And we have a uh, China Infantry with the red. So we've got a real mix of uh, armies here. Not sure if they chose random or not. We've got two engineers there from the blue uh, cyan. Cyan laser, Ethan. Someone on a recent video said that they were disappointed with General's evolution. The fact that they uh, you can't rotate the buildings 360 degrees. You can only do it like... Is it every 90 degrees you can do? Yeah, every 90 degrees. Um, I tend to agree, actually. I didn't really think about that before, but uh, yeah, I tend to agree. All right, if we have a look at the players then. All right, we've got this guy is Azurus in the green. Then we've got Ezepan. He's the brown. What's the mission, sir? We have... Uh, uh, don't even know what the first word says. Maru <laughs> with the blue Air Force. Automata with the red Inf. Uh, the cyan guy is called Blues. And Crisis, I think that's purple. No, that's red. It's so, it's so difficult in this game just to see. Clearly. It really is. We've got technicals versus the infantry. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, versus the infantry here. Getting a few crushes. Three battle masses from the nuke straight down the middle of the map. This has already been taken, the crates here, by uh, the sign. Not sure exactly how much cash they give. But then you've got an observation post here. Observation post. I'm guessing if you get those, it gives you a big vision. Oil's obviously giving you cash. Uh, these oils have all been taken by the sign player, which indicates to me that blue is probably a little bit more newbie because uh, otherwise he should know to challenge for those. There's no way you should be just allowing your opponent to take him. But he is going for a combat Chinook, though. Looks like a scrapped up technical. Didn't even know you could do that in this game, actually. We've got two combat Chinooks, actually, from the Blue Air Force. Uh, Gatlin defenses has been placed down by Purple. Battle Master is still on patrol. He's got a load of Battle Masters here in the middle. Sign is doing a very good job at taking uh, all of the buildings. Assault Troop Crawler seems to be a very big go-to unit in this game. You're seeing that uh, pretty much every game there's an infantry involved. He's always making an Assault Troop Crawler. And less so with the outpost, actually. It would be the opposite in uh, Zero Hour. Unless you're against an Air Force, in Zero Hour you would see uh, Assault Troop Crawler. Sometimes an Assault Troop Crawler rush. But generally, it's going to be more so Outpost with a few Assault Troop Crawlers mixed in. Yeah, Blue's just not interested in, uh, in expanding and because of that, he's allowed Science to get massive. Laser V's taking down Combat Chinook. So Blue looks quite inexperienced to me. And that guy is mm, Ryoin Maru against Blues, basically. Maru against Blues on this south position. But yeah, the, the top right team just seemed far stronger in this particular replay. They uh, have secured basically every tech building uh, possible. What tank is this? It's a flak tank. Sub troop crawler wrecking a whole load of technicals. And it seems like he's got uh, tank hunters inside of there as well. Yeah, Assault Troop Crawlers are just absolutely hammering the GLA here. Really, really uh, insane. Yeah, kind of seem in one-sided so far. I wonder if Green and Brown are going to be able to do anything to do a little bit of a comeback. Because I don't... I, I just wouldn't count on Blue doing much. And I'm also not too keen on this. 
Don't really know what's going on there. But maybe the money is better in the hands of Green. That said, what has Green done so far? He's pushing out here with quads. But again, the Assault Troop Crawlers. Single-handedly wrecking a whole ton of tanks here. And you, you can't even see the infantry anymore. They're just hammering so many tanks. That should not be happening. Interestingly, I spoke to uh, Gunship Mark today, who is the main guy behind this Red Alert 3 mod. And I just pinged him on Discord and said, is there any... Uh, is there any update coming and can you give, give me an ETA? He confirmed already to me that he's working on an update right now. So this is version 0.3 beta of General's Evolution. But I imagine 0.4 or maybe remove the beta of General's Evolution 1.0. Maybe that's coming. I don't know what it would call it. But it has been out for a hell of a long time now, 0.3. We are due an update 100%. Well, I mean, these assault troop crawlers are just wrecking the GLA. I had no idea they'd be wrecking flak tanks so easily like that. Bit of a standoff here between the five bases. There's a new CC being deployed down here by the Cyan Blues, and he's got a bit of a cute base going. It's the cutest base I've ever seen in General's Evolution so far. But yeah, this brown guy is getting absolutely hammered just by the assault troop crawlers. Purple hasn't really even done anything. He doesn't need to. There's a few buggies coming in now from the two GLAs, combining forces, but these infantry are just not fussed about it at the minute. It seems like infantry might be one of the stronger armies in Geneva. I think overall the, the V spam looks pretty powerful. Empty V spam, not loaded. Uh, Scorpion spam for GLA seems pretty powerful. Yeah, the quads really having trouble here. This infantry blob, man, is looking insane. I would say that... Pro I mean, these might not be the strongest players in the world, so it might not be a good thing to um, <clears throat> to gauge it on, but I would say it looks like the, the minigunners need uh, nerfing a bit. Look, they're just hammering everything. Wow, Mix coming in. It's a complete demolition job. They are literally killing everything. Having to go on the palace. Black tanks have absolutely no chance. Your Cyan has really set up camp outside of uh, this guy's base. Tomahawk trying to chip away at the defenses. Laser can make particle tanks, remember. Which are long range, like equivalent of tomahawks, but they are extremely powerful. Yeah, purple coming in a little bit with his uh, red god. But then another five troop crawlers are rocking up. And do they have any. Oh my goodness, he's just set the. Uh the uh frenzy on his units so now they're even taking down the cc cc has to be sold green coming in with a ton of quads interested to see how the quads in a line formation like this do yeah i mean even though these glas might not be the strongest i still do not think they should be wrecking that amount of quads plus all the buildings and everything else they've wrecked the minigunner seems too powerful wow <laughs> science really going to town I, I really wanted to know the true limit in genevo but how many buildings can you make like that how many drop zones can you make so we just look at the name of the brown player his is azurus 
and the red guy's crisis. It was Azarus versus Crisis here. Crisis owning with the infantry. Tomahawk's doing a little bit of stuff there. But again, it's just this uh, minigunners. Minigunners over and over again into the GLA base. You can just attack move them by the looks of it, and it'll just chew up everything in their path. Tomahawk's here still going to work on the Cyan player, but Cyan has an insane amount of airfields and drop zones. He's in complete chill mode. Just testing the limits of this game, I think. But Red has basically killed his opponent. That quarter was actually pushing that um, dead uh, chassis or dead hole from the tank for a second. It's just kind of funny. Mix coming in from the purple player. He he is nuke, isn't he? Yeah, he's nuke. So he, those are nuke mix. Infantry is just crazy hard to spot, especially when there's explosions going off like that. So you could literally be stood there with a huge tank on him because the infantry is so small and hidden in the smoke. It'll still annihilate all your stuff and still here, just assault troop crawler after assault troop crawler. I don't really know what the counter for that is, but there is a nuke. Apparently fired and that is in the blue base. What an insane effect, man. <laughs> what an insane effect. Artillery comes in as well, tries to finish off the CC, but doesn't quite do it. We've got a blue particle to watch out for as well. Let's just have a look at Cyan's money. So he is blues. So he's... He's there. He's spending all of his cash, but it's because he's... He's dropping it all down and spending it on laser Comanches all at the same time. So we're actually going to see a massive... Spam here. It's really going to test the limits of both my PC and this game uh, slash mod. <laughs> yeah, these Tomahawks shipping away at it, but I don't think Cyan really feels any kind of a threat. I think he knows he's going to make 20 million uh, laser Comanches, isn't he? Yeah, I've never seen this many buildings, I think. On this game before it's really gonna test if it finishes or crashes for either me or for the players we will we'll see all right we've got this blue particle ready to fire which is here interesting if you double click on it, it actually takes you to it where is he gonna fire it nuke mix coming in again going for the cc i think purple seems more the level of the south players I think it's Cyan and Red who are the beasts. So he's just come in there taking out the... Uh, taking out the Tomahawk. So I've got to keep my eye on this particle cannon. Alright, he does annihilate a ton of stuff there, to be fair. He does. You see the new crater inside of Blue's base. But can you imagine a particle cannon across there? <laughs> Got Blue with three particles. So maybe the max is three, actually. Three super weapons. I wonder if um, in Zero, if we had a max three super weapon feature. You know, like you can put limit super weapons and limits to one. It would be cool if you could limit... It to three or like four or five or whatever. And that could be good. Okay. Massive explosion again, but it doesn't take out the uh, firebase actually. Yeah, definitely some of the damage values in this game need changing. Like four nuke MIGs on a firebase. 
I mean, given how big the explosion looked like, it probably should take it out in this game. But those many gunners for sure need an adjustment. So I hope Gunship Mark is working on that. Yeah, Cyan is in complete chill mode. Gotta get a screenshot of that. It's just insane. <laughs> he's just control firing the ground, but he's about to get taken out here, actually. It's really crazy, this game. Really. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, Brown is... Uh, trying to secure his entrance for his base again. But I have a feeling as soon as the infantry wants, he will be coming in. Bearing in mind that this top right team have had all of the tech buildings for the whole entire game. We've got a scud fired, actually. From one of the players. Don't even know where it's fired from, but we will. Oh, he's here. Okay. So hard to find the super weapons on this game. I don't know if there's a trick for it. I think I have to literally be on the player's vision. So we've got a purple nuke ready. I mean, that particle cannon was red. <laughs> that was kind of crazy. That would have been that particle. <clears throat> yeah, there's still loads and loads of Comanches. I feel like Cyan is just in complete chill mode. Look, he's making a ton of powers. How many CCs does he have, actually? It's at least three, four... I don't even know where this nuke is going to hit now. Inside of the brown slash green bases. A10 has finished off that. Uh, uh, the particle cannon. Red, whenever he wants to come in, whenever he's built up his infantry, he can probably just do so. He's got a bunch of uh, internet centers plus a bunch of CCs inside of his base. Got a blue particle cannon ready to fire. Probably going to be on Cyan once again, I think. I always find the shadows really crazy. In this game, the shadows are always a million miles away. Oh, I so wanted that to be there, you know. So that part of hasn't done that much. But Purple's decided to enter the chat and he is coming into Green's base. We've got Cyan really doing a wraparound now on Blue's base. All these support power planes coming in is just insane. Just fuel air bomb Purple's army. <laughs> yeah, Cyan is playing at um, only 10% here. He is literally just building up. He's got a massive swarm there of Comanches.
Anthrax Bomb. I, me I remember when the like 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 beta came out, Anthrax Bomb used to cause a uh, crash, actually. Cause the game to crash. The purple shroud or the purple haze, whatever. As soon as, the, as soon as a Scud hit or an Anthrax Bomb hit, it would always crash. Yeah, that blob there is crazy. Uh, I think he's deliberately trying to get them all um, together in a big swarm. Yeah, nothing wrong at all with uh, exploring the limitations of the game, and the limitations are clearly quite high, if there are any at all, because the whole map over here is covered in cyan. He's got laser turrets everywhere. He's making more and more airfields. It's actually quite impressive uh, macro, to be fair. But he has been completely left alone with six oils... Plus other stuff, whatever that does. It's just... Is that the garage? Okay, is that repairing your vehicles? Just like in the Zero, the repair bay? Wow, what is even going on here now? Whoa! What even just happened there? How many... Was there a load of Comanches all stacked on top of each other and then the particle hit them all at the same time? Science clearly mad now, though. He's coming into the base of blue and these Comanches are just going to completely destroy him in one, in one click, basically. You can just leave him on aggressive in his base and they will just delete everything. It's just insane. This game is just a, cr a crazy... I know, a crazy creation. <laughs> I don't even know if it matters where that particle's going to hit. Where even is it hitting? I don't even know. But some of these Comanches like flying sideways and flying backwards. I have no words, honestly. I have no words. I mean, I tell you one thing: to make to make a, a video thumbnail using um, a screenshot or a clip or whatever from uh, Geneva is so much easier and looks so much more beautiful and eye-catching. Um, but playing it, there's just too many explosions and it's distracting for competitive play, which we've said many times before. There's clearly some balance things going on. The, the minigun is a crazy OP. It was clearly a balancing of teams going wrong there as well because Blues is clearly leagues and leagues ahead of all of them. Maybe him and Crisis are kind of on the same level. I'm not sure, but the rest of them are all, um, we're all a lot weaker, I think. But uh, combined with the OPness of the uh, the infantry minigunners, is kind of crazy. But yeah, my advice to to all of them, really, is apart from Cyan and Red, is that they need to be uh, more ambitious out on the map. They need to be going getting the crates out on the map. They need to be getting the uh, oils and securing them. And if you can't, the worst case scenario, you need to be killing them at least, not just sitting back in your base, letting the enemy have like what. There's like four on each side. That's eight and then two in the middle. That's ten oils in total, plus the repair bays and observation posts, all that stuff. You can't just sit in your base. You need to be uh, doing something. Yeah, if we have a look at structures, I imagine science like off the chart. Yeah, he basically is off the chart. I think these things... I mean, they're probably super weapons, aren't they? But they're, they're just uh, overpowering. It covers half of the graph. Resources. Yeah, loads more for cyan. <laughs> and the... Uh, Structures created for Cyan was uh, 302. Structures lost 61. But I mean, if he wanted to, he could probably have a much more efficient KD ratio. He was just exploring the limitations of the game there and realized that he was against much lower level opposition than himself. So GG, well played. That was, it, w it wasn't the most fun replay in the world, but it was actually interesting to see the, the, the limitations that are in the game. Or clearly from that, there are no limitations. There's like loads and loads of buildings, a million Comanches, and loads and loads of explosions, and it didn't didn't stress the game whatsoever. I didn't notice any FPS drop or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, that was a pretty cool experiment for me. So, yeah, GG well played. Let me know what you thought in the comments, and let me know what you thought of Hostile Dawn, and I will see you in the next one. GG.